Good morning, hello, welcome to Swift Community Live KRT Racer Focus on this fine Tuesday morning Halloween edition final KRT Racer Focus for the month of October here. I don't know how it is in the rest of the world, but Halloween is a big deal in the United States, and apparently the United States I think we're a big deal, so it looks like everybody else is doing Halloween today. We got special avatars set up today. People with zombie heads, witch hats, all kinds of stuff out today. We got a flat race, 23.8 miles of relatively flat, doing six laps of London Classique. That is the somewhat flat, short, sort of crit-style course. It is about three and a half miles per lap or something like that, but be long for a crit, but there is a little bit of a rise on each lap, a little hill, and that's where the selection is going to get made today. So I'll be watching the comments here on Facebook. So let me know what you're thinking here, what you're seeing, any questions you might have about racing, Zwifty, whatever it might be. If it's a little bit off topic, I'll try to get to it at the end, but if it's about what's going on in the race, I'll do my best to do my best to answer it. All right, real quick, I'm just going to get an audio check in here. All right, looks like we're all systems go with about 90 seconds to the start. I'm gonna get myself a nice hamstring stretch. I'm a little tight on the right hand side today. Did get a warm up in, 20 minute British cycling uh, TT warm up. Gets you sweating a little bit before the hammer actually gets dropped. Ooh. We're just getting the last tightness out of the legs as best we can. The right is really pretty really tight. Oh. All right, now let's get the heart rate back going again. So it's always good to be prepared, right? These are hard starts. We get straight into it. No messing around. 28 seconds to go. Got a few KRT riders. That's Kiss Racing Team in the mix today. I see Big Brian Montgomery, Jerome Soxenham. I saw Tim Cartwright joined as well. And we got the usual hitters. Jeff Creel, also in the group today. So six seconds to go. Let's get it going. Give me the power. Not that one.
Thanks, Johan. I tell you, warming up is a great idea. Since I've done warm ups, I find that my technique in the race is much better. It adds about five RPM to my cadence. Since I've already spent time in the zones above threshold, this doesn't feel that weird. You saw me just get randomly selected to get <laughs> dropped back through the group there. I don't know what that was about. You see that happening, you gotta react. You gotta give the game some other data to chew on. In that case, it was just spinning it up a little bit. Big old bunch here today. We're going fast. That means if you get dropped, you're so well. Or Zio out, you're swift out of luck. <laughs> How about that? So you don't want to get dropped. Because holding this pace on your own is nigh on impossible. So. Got to stay with the group. Got to stay in the front third of the group, really. You start playing games at the back, some fool will lose the wheel in front of you. Then you're on the wrong side of the split. See Vasily Platinov in the race. Very cool. Wu is here, so you can expect some really hard moves over the top, some long range attack, and basically no, no respite. Right turn coming up. Most efficient place to be is toward the front. So you can be behind Franco Battiato when he pulls. In there, right? There we go. Right hand turn. Bunch is strung out.
All right, so now that we're settled a little bit, you can see a couple little groups of drop riders. behind us. You can see them in the map, top right corner. So you see at the top center of your screen it says warm up. There's no warm up. We are just getting ourselves to the actual course. Once we go into this banner up here, we're on the course. Ready to go. Looks like the lap counter is a little bit broken. That's okay. Now, if I'm recovered and just got back into that sort of tempo talking zone, that means the boys around me, stronger riders than me, are very recovered. So we gotta be aware of that. A lot of times it does get a little sketchy on the back straight here. But I ain't talking, I ain't talking choppers. I ain't talking people swerving around. I'm just talking, we go up a slight gradient. Any false flat and zwift can be a deciding factor in a race. Not everyone in this group is as experienced. I've got over 100, I think like 100, at least 150 race finishes. Awesome guys, thanks Harry, Brock. And see now I'm at the back, not good. Now I'm gonna be at the back. So I'm going to play the strategy to not be at the back, I'm just going to wind it up, I'm not going to stomp it. If you're not moving up, you're moving back. You can see the pack is narrowing out closer to single file. Steven, my teammates in Ride Smart. Luckily, we don't have to corner because I'm six feet four, 192 centimeters tall. So I corner like a leaning tower of Pisa. Hard to get the bike leaned over. real life. So if you're wondering what the heck's going on, what are these people doing? What game is this? This is Zwift, virtual cycling platform. Each one of these riders you see on your screen connected to a trainer on a bike, <laughs> bike on a trainer, at home, pedaling, real effort.
There it is. There's the hill. Young Timothy's wheel is a good place to be. Now, I see big heart rate. I'm not gonna stop. I gotta wind it back down. So I don't lose position. Lighter riders. Russell wants to know about cadence for lighter riders. Personal preference. Whatever feels good. All right, heart rate has been coaxed back downward to earth. Going into lap two. Still in a big bunch. Big pack. Check us out. That's huge. It's about twice as many riders in this group as you want for the purposes of sitting on and doing nothing. Because if you sit on, you drift to the back like I am right now. And at the back of the group, the entropy is higher. The chaos is higher than at the front. So if you're at the back, you're more likely to get swerved left to right and pinned on the wrong side of the road, away from the group. You can see it happening to me right now. It thinks I want to be on the left, I don't. But on Jerome's screen, I might be in the middle. So that's the, the issue here. Nobody actually knows where they are. Or they think they know, but they're wrong. Coming up is the interval. Once again, this is where I got to hold like threshold and above to maintain position. There goes somebody off the front way up there.
Yeah, Bobby, you gotta just have some goals. Bobby, I'm really big. I weigh 93 kilos. Or whatever, uh, 90, 90 kilos, something like that. 205 pounds. So I have watts, but I only have watts per kilo. Doesn't bode well. We got Tim off the front. Coming into the hill now. There it is. Wind it back down. Brutal. Back down to normal now. Coming up on another group. I don't know if that's A or not. Tim's attacking into it. Swift is so silly. Just push me up to the left. Snap the elastic. I hate that.
uh, three of six. Starting out. I'm on 2014 kicker, Simon. I have power tap pedals as the power source. Yeah, Bobby's saying the hills separate the boys from the men. That's true, but the guys that go well on the hills look more like boys than men because they're so small. <laughs> so there you go, it's the only sport where that's really a reality. Smaller guys pretty much across the board do better. So you see my position right now? Bad. Very bad. Get up to the front. I'm really just staying focused. Oh no. Another little group.
really in the herd house right now. Three laps in. Already been to 179 beats per minute. Four times. Survival mode. Anthony.
It's hot. It's hot. Yeah, Tony, you'd think they'd be tired. It was a big race last night. But they're still going up there. Oh. I was close for longer than I thought I was going to last. Almost made it over the hill, but as soon as I squeezed on the pedals, I just felt the gag. Oh. What a hard race. Yeah, had too much drag from the Frankenstein head. You're right. Oh my goodness. Well, the boys are already almost to the start finish banner. Looks like they made the move. Over the top of the climb. Here comes Ian Kurth. It's gonna be Team Ian playing catch up here. And stay with Ian. Strength in numbers always for a community of sufferers. Ian Kurth and I ride the Odie Zentry, which is a Sunday morning ride, 100 kilometers, endurance pace. So that's how I know Ian. He's a triathlete, so those big miles are sort of mimic a long time trial effort. Push from below, and then he pushes or pulls from above in these races. And I know Ian and I go just about the same pace most of the time. Especially on hills. You can find people in your races that are gonna stretch your legs out on the hills. You can just focus on riding with them. Because a lot of times like you know, I started this race out real hard. I was really pushing what I'm capable of. But now in the second half of the race, I just don't have it. I mean, it's both mentally and physically. Ian wants me to come around. I took a gel to try to get the blood sugar up. Before the race, but right now I'm struggling to hit 80 RPM. I'm trying to come around Ian to help share the pace here. Ready? He's in better shape than I am right now, I think. On this day. So this is, this is what happens in races. You get dropped, and here's what you don't do. You don't join a lower category so you don't get dropped. You train so that you can reach your full potential. There's no sandbagging. It's just all about fitness and getting stronger, and racing is a great way to, to push yourself in the uh, indoor training session. 
Picker loves to just uh, seize up on me randomly. We got a group of C grade behind us about a minute back. But yeah, this is what happens. You get dropped in no man's land. But man, try to get me to that heart rate indoors. Be hard pressed. Any other way than a race. So let me know what you're thinking, what you're seeing, questions you have about racing. Be glad to answer as best I can. I'm on the Facebook chat, facebook.com slash Zook Community Live. That's where I'm watching. Two more times up this hill. He's trying to keep us honest. Probably so we stay away from Crawford. Crawford's in that chase group. So pretty much like, what, five or six minutes later, I feel kind of normal again. Bart, Salafia, this is not a bad day. This is every day. This is pushing as hard as I could. And this dang hill ruined me. Because even though those guys are like pushing like only 300 watts, which for me is tempo, their watts per kilo at 300 watts is like a sprint for me. Like, I finish the race, I do 7 watts per kilo, 8 watts per kilo, in a lead out. So, just makes it really hard to stay with the group. And there's guys going uphill at like 28 miles an hour. I'm riding with Ian Kurth here, a triathlete from CBN. It's uh, Team Endurance Nation. And he's riding for Team ODZ. Both of us are A minus riders. He and I go up the hills just about the same same pace. And right now we're just kind of pushing endurance pace. There's a group behind us that's just about to be able to reach out to catch us. I'm looking at the left side to see if I see them coming up the, there they are, up the back. And they have the blob effect. So 
the blob effect is probably gonna hurt us here. Yeah, so like Frankie's saying in the chat, Frankie Timmons, you might recognize him from the broadcast last night in the East Coast Swift Crit, North America. But he's saying there's only so many efforts at that level you can put out as a big rider. And what we're talking about is kind of basically like lead out type stuff. You know, you can sit at zone three, zone four in a race and have a really nice, you know, one or two minute effort at the end and hit personal best and all that. But to keep hitting zone six and seven, or whatever, just step over threshold for increase for long duration is just, just really hard. So now we're coming into our last lap. We got a chase group about 33 seconds behind us. And they're probably gonna catch us. Ian's plans are if he's gonna try to go long I would imagine he's gonna do something kind of long because I think he knows I've got a sprint in me so yeah even though we're dropped we still get into these little battles got to find motivation somewhere, and today it's me, me, and Kurt. Yeah, that group's gonna catch us. Even that little effort I just did, I feel short, short of breath. A little spaced out. Just see Crawford there. Ian's putting in a turn now that's Kurth in front of me. That the blob that back there is gonna get us, so I'm not too worried. Somebody keeps taking pictures. Is 
to see the flash on my screen means somebody taking a screenshot. Not sure what that's all about. Here's Crawford now. Back in the fray. He's just going to storm past us. Big mistake. He's going again. He knows the group's coming. Could be, Rick. Could be. Playing cat and mouse here. Crawford White, he's getting himself ready. Nobody's gonna go till it's time to go. Crawford's going now. Sit behind Ian now. This is it. Too far.
today. I'm gonna make sure I actually warm down a little bit. Because last Thursday, I did not. And later in the day, I almost passed out. So, let's try to get a little bit of equilibrium going here. There you go. You get dropped in the kiss race. You could be all down about it. You could be all sad. You could give up. Which is fine sometimes. But you could also keep it going. Find people to ride with. Alright, that's gonna be it for me. See you all soon.